Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is uh, Thursday. It is the 1st of June. I want to say a massive happy anniversary to my mum and dad. They've been married for 38 years. Um, so yeah, congratulations. <laughs> um, I've just eaten some lunch. It is currently quarter past two. I don't know why that took me so long to figure that out. But it's quarter past two and I have been on Zoom today. I have been cutting and engraving. Um, wrist straps should arrive today. Um, I'm just waiting for delivery. Hopefully they are coming by every... I know. I'm hoping that the delivery will be fine. <laughs> They're coming between half one and half three. So really they've got an hour. I have just quickly run over the post office. But the post office is literally across the road from where I live. So... I literally run in and run out um, so yeah I have been also working on my eyelid burst shawl um, I am now on the second colour halfway through a row standard um, but I'm feeling like it's just never going to finish <laughs> never going to end I'm hoping to get back into my routine uh, so tomorrow will be I can't remember my diary is over there and that cut is finished which is good um i've just got two more to do today and then yeah two more to do today and then i need to sand them all um get them prepped and then obviously package and sent out so uh i don't know whether i'll have time to package and and send them out today because they do need sanding um tomorrow i've got an appointment um at the hospital and then me and Ian are going to Tunbridge Wells because he needs to get tyres fitted onto his wheels. <sighs> Pardon me, but he's taking me to the hospital. Um, so if they don't go out Friday, they don't go out today, and they don't go out tomorrow, they definitely go out Saturday. Um, even if I package them up tomorrow night or whatever, get them ready and then send them. Uh, on my listing it does say that there's like a few days, like... They won't get sent out straight away because they do have to be made. They're um, made to order. Um, so apologies for that. Um, what I'm doing is the cut file that I'm doing, It there is two on one sort of cut file. So even if I sell one, I will cut two. So I've got one as a spare. Um, so there may be a time where there is some that are just sitting there waiting to be sold. So they will go quicker, obviously. But um, lead time is a couple of days. Um, so yeah, but that is that for now. Um, I thought I'd come on and say hello and ramble. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just waiting for wrist straps and then I can get um, these orders here that from the other day out. I will get those out today. Um, but the orders that I'm cutting today will have to be prepped still. So I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you um, for purchasing because... Yeah, I, I hope you really enjoy the product itself. Um, I've got another product in my head. I'm still working on the final thing of it. Um, it's not 100% there yet, uh, but it will be. It will be. Um, yesterday, I don't know if you can see in the background here, I bought this oil burner or wax burner thing. Not my cup, the, wall, the oil burner. But... The candles don't fit in the bottom. It's really annoying. <laughs> the hole is too small for the candles to fit in the bottom. I don't know. It was from Home Bargain, so what else can I expect, really? But I expect at least the candles to fit. Um, I did also buy um, this as well. So Nancy did send me loads of waxes. Um, look at the center table again. Um... Yeah, lots of waxes. Um, but I bought this one yesterday. It's a Yankee Candle from Home Bargains. And it is um, The Last Paradise. And it smells quite sort of summery and fresh. With a hint of flower. It's got a lily on it. Is that a lily? It's got a flower of some sort on the front. <laughs> I'm no good with flowers. <laughs> Even though I have a lily tattooed on my wrist and lilies on my back, but 
um, yeah, it's really, really nice. And I was going to use that in that, but it's, it don't fit. I will show you. Let me um, just plonk you here a second. Not plonk you, but you know what I mean. Um, I put this on because I was cold earlier on, and now I'm getting hot. I've got my rocket tee on today, and just a pair of lounge and trousers because the only place I was going was the post office, um, which I've already been to today. So I'll just get this empty one. It doesn't fit in here unless I squish this but this is empty so it will go if I squish it but that's not going to work with a candle that is in there never mind um, I've got this one it's a Christmassy one because it's got holly on it but it does the trick and at the moment I've got one that Nancy sent me which is this here it's um, Enchanted Blackberry and Patchouli oh my god the smell is so good mmm I love it I absolutely love it as you can see I've used one of them um, yeah and she also sent me quite a few others as well I can't remember if I've shown these or not um, so a few Yankee Candle ones a few from Tesco they all smell so good. There's a Christmas one here. I might save this for Christmas. So I did buy um, another pack of just candles yesterday. So just um, non-smelly candles, you know, the, the plain white ones. Um, because I was running out of the plain white ones and at the bottom, you can't really see, but at the bottom it's sort of filled with all these smelly candles. And I didn't want to use a smelly candle by and burn a wax melt because that really don't make any sense um, so I bought loads of I say loads I think there was 30 in the packet of plain candles um, in home bargains they had the four hour ones and the eight hour um, I got the four hour because there is no way I think I would be burning a candle for eight hours <laughs> because I would have to light that at like I don't know what three o'clock in the afternoon and sometimes I light a candle in the morning while I'm engraving and then in the evening I'll probably put a candle on about, I don't know, six, seven o'clock. There's no way I'm going to burn it for eight hours, so four hours is plenty. I've just got wax melts everywhere now. I need to... I need to come up with a thing to put them in. That bowl is really good for the candles, but it's not good for the packets of um, melts I've got. So I've got sort of these these melts here um, these were from pound stretcher I think they all smell so good um, obviously I wouldn't buy them if I didn't like the smell but um, yeah I think they all last about eight eight hours I'm not sure it just says for use in wax melters wax uh, melt warmers yeah it doesn't say how long but I normally burn them until I can't smell them anymore. So, which is normally like three times, three or four times. Um, I know most of them are eight hours, but you do get more than eight hours. Right, that's it. I'm going to stop rambling. Uh, welcome to this video. Um, I don't know how many days this is going to be, but I'm just simply picking up the camera, recording finishing it at random times of the week and just uploading because I feel like that is what I'm I'm feeling at the moment um, so we had a really nice sort of couple of days uh, bank holiday Monday and the couple of days after um, I ate my body weight in popcorn so yeah uh, I'll take you with me tomorrow when we go to Milton Keynes um, yeah I've got a hospital appointment in the morning need to go to Bart's um, I need to go back for more breast screening um, I did go for breast screening a couple of weeks ago but they need to do more scans and stuff I don't know whether the thing was wrong or what not but um, we'll see, we'll see what happens um, yeah, I'm working on my eyelid burst like I said and that's pretty much it so I better get um, this done the next cut going and then I can sit down and do some more knitting and tonight is the monthly members Zoom, uh, which I'm really looking forward to. And yeah, that's about it. So I'm going to stop rambling. <laughs>
I always say that and then I'll ramble more. So I'm definitely going now. I'll see you soon. Hello, it's now Friday and yesterday I said that I needed to go to the hospital for some more tests and stuff um, and that came back fine so everything is fine um, it was just um, so something looked a little bit darker in one of my scans than it should and everything is okay so yeah that's good <laughs> uh, a big relief um, so uh, but we have come to Kent today Ian is getting tyres fitted on his new wheels there on the back but they're on the back and the tyres are on the back but we've come to Kent and Ian's friend yeah, can't do them till after 5 o'clock because uh, he's busy so he owns a business but he's busy doing work stuff until 5 um, so we've come to Grain um, the Isle of Grain and here is the Grain Tower Ian was going to fly his drone Yeah, Ian was going to fly his drone, but it's really, really windy. And I can't even get out and film because it's really windy and I've got no muffs on this camera. I did bring the other one with me because I didn't think I'd be anywhere that would be windy. Um, but yeah, I think every time we've been here, it's been really windy. Yeah, so... Um, but when the tide goes out, you can actually walk out to that tower. Um, the tide goes right out. Um, this is the river Medway um, and there's like a path that goes to it uh, obviously you have to come back before the tide um, comes in and stuff I'll shut that a bit just because it's blowing me around <laughs> uh, but we're gonna just sit here for a little while I think and uh, I don't know it's chill that wind is chilly as well the sea is really rough I say the sea the river yeah. What is the sea? It is the sea, yeah. It's the, the Thames estuary is really rough. <laughs> uh, so over there... Oh no, where are you looking? I can't see on the screen. Right, so over there is um, Shoebrunness and South End, And we're just on this side, uh, the Kent side. Um, so yeah, it's sort of the Thames estuary. Uh, but it is really choppy and windy. But yeah, I just thought I'd uh, let you know, update on this morning and where we've come to. Um, that's about it so far. If there's anything else that's interesting, I will obviously pick up the camera. And uh, yeah, I have bought my eyelet burst shawl with me today, so I might knit a little bit on that. I've also bought my crochet blanket, so I'm, I don't know whether I'll do any of that. But it is blanket day today, baby blanket day, so... Or is it C to C day? It's blanket weather and all. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it's no, it's it's um, it's a uh, baby blanket day. I know it is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm just not feeling it, so I might just knit some more on my eyelid burst today. Maybe we'll see. <laughs> I don't know yet. Hi guys, it's now Sunday and I don't feel like this vlog has gone anywhere, <laughs> really don't. Um, so yesterday we was at the garage, um, Ian was uh, ceramic coating his wheels, look at my suntan. <laughs> um, he was doing his wheels and then he was um, just doing a bit, bit like a few bits and bobs to the car. Um, I was sat out in the sun, it was really nice. I didn't get this yesterday this was from last weekend um, and it was just really nice and chilled and like Ian said oh we'll do anything you want today um, and I was just like you know what I'm happy to chill here I'm, I'm not that bothered so I had my knitting um, I worked on the baby blanket a bit and on my summer sorrel um, and then this morning I worked on my summer sorrel again. Uh, today is sorrel day. Uh, yesterday was C to C and I really didn't want to take that with me to the garage. So um, I haven't worked on that for a few times now. But hey ho, it doesn't matter. Um, today I have washed my car. So it's Sunday, like I said. I've washed my car. I've gone shopping. Um, 
it is lovely and sunny there is not a cloud in the sky it's beautiful um, I probably got some of this today just where I've been doing the car but um, I was sat outside for a little while but you know when you've got a bit of a like a tan a bit of a burn and then when you go back outside you go a bit blistery it's not blisters it's just water under the skin where I'm hot um, so I've come upstairs I'm, my, I'm very dirty from doing the car so I'll have a shower later <clears throat> um, and I was downstairs and the Amazon Amazon man's out in the road we've got Amazon delivery um, but it looks like he's taken a scheduled break <laughs> I was like Do you know what I'm just gonna come upstairs so if the door goes that's what it that is um, also yesterday I received my Timu order so this bag was part of my Timu order I absolutely love it um, it's got all pockets um, and it's got the straps all straps round this unclips and then you've got more pockets inside um, and I didn't know it's got charging uh, wires with it so you can put your headphones in um, or a USB so you can plug it into like um, a portable battery pack thing um, I don't really know who has headphones anymore but or wired but yeah um, and all the stuff that I got is inside so I thought I'd quickly show you what I got I was going to do a separate video but then I was like do you know what this vlog's not really gone anywhere I'll just do it here <laughs> so that was that um, it's really really random by the way um, really random the first thing I got was this and it is a bottle I can take the stuff out of the packet now it's a bottle for me to do my roots when I'm doing my hair so the dye comes out of this part here um, just screws on so I thought I'd give that a try next time I need to do my hair um, I don't know how much these things were but really really cheap <laughs> really cheap um, I got a pack of these um, bra straps so if you're wearing like a racer back top um, they just sort of you clip your thing at the back um, I got two packets of these for some reason I didn't check my order but they were cheap enough so I've got two of those I've also picked up this which is a edible oil spray bottle now me and Ian was talking about getting some garlic oil and I was like oh it'd be so nice if I could just do I it myself just put the garlic cloves in um, so yeah I got this it was really really cheap um, obviously I don't know how it's gonna spray what the spray is gonna is like yet um, but it's glass and I actually bought um, oil today so I can fill it up um, that's that I bought a garlic crusher because I hate my garlic crusher <laughs> it's so faffy um, where I'm hoping with this it'll be a bit easier I don't know. we will see the one that I've got now is that you have to you put the it's like metal and an insert goes in and then you crush it but it's such it's so faffy to clean I don't know I just that to me I also got sorry for the crinkling put the rubbish on the floor I got one of these aloe vera um, lip gloss things or lip balms it's supposed to oh the light sorry it's supposed to make your lips go your natural colour should I try it I don't know how long it takes oh my god are they actually going pink girl oh that looks pretty nice this might be my go to because obviously the colour is not going to come off and I believe on everyone your natural colour is different mm. so I'm going to leave that to one side I got, oh there's another pack of them bra things I also picked up a headache migraine relief thing um, so with this you put it on your pressure point which is supposed to relieve migraines now 
if you've been a viewer for a while you will know that I do suffer with migraines quite a lot um, and normally they're like menstrual migraines and I have used pegs before <laughs> to do this and I do f I do find it works a little bit so I thought for the 60p or whatever it was I would give it a try um, there's instructions uh, it is a wearable device that utilizes the body's natural endorphins to relieve headache and tension I will give that a try at some point I got one of these which is a um, tablet holder because I see somewhere I can't remember where it was that someone had filled this with random tablets like paracetamol, ibuprofen, indigestion tablets and so on and so forth and put up here what they were and just carried the whole thing around in their bag and I was like oh my god that's such a good idea because how often do you go out and go oh I've got a bit of a headache I need some tablets or and you don't want to carry a whole box of paracetamol and a whole box of ibuprofen um, or indigestion tablets or, and I just thought these this would be really good um, oh I also got um, a car charger for my car I can actually try this if I can get it out um, it's like a cigarette lighter but it's got two extra so with my car I, my dash cam goes into the cigarette lighter and once that's in obviously I can't plug anything else in um, so I thought I'd give this a try it's also got USB-C and two USB slots um, yeah hopefully this will work I'm not sure we'll see I think it was about two pounds something um, this whole order including that big bag came to 20 pounds um, I know I, I know with Timu you get a lot of deals and a lot of offers and stuff um, so the other thing I bought now I use jewelry pliers to make my stitch markers and stuff like that and I was like oh, I need a new set or a new flat nose well, I didn't realise they would be for tiny people. <laughs> um, they're going to do the job. They are going to be fine. But they are teeny weeny. So the ones that I use at the moment are this big. <laughs> um, it's just when I'm trying to sort of do two. Actually, this fits really nicely in my hand. And again, really cheap. Perfect. Um, and then I bought myself a pair of, oh, this light, sorry, a pair of stalk scissors. Um, you can never have enough scissors. So I got just a gold pair this time. Um, they can go in my little bag. And then the last thing I bought was this. Now, this is another little bag, it's more like a purse bag. So at the moment I'm using a purse that is got two slots in it, two zippers, um, and it's perfect for your phone, you can put your keys onto it, and whatever, whatever. Um, and I saw this and I was like, do you know what, this would be really nice just to have if I'm going somewhere but I don't need to take a lot with me. Um, so yeah, I got this, it's got a pop on the front, it's got two zips on the inside. Let me undo the first. It's also got this here. Let's undo this first one. It's got this as the first pocket. So my phone is here. And that fits in there. And that will do up. So that's perfect. Uh, just to put your phone in and stuff and then the back one is like a purse so you have like your compartment for your money um, there's no card slots the slots are in the front here um, but it don't really matter so yeah I th thought this just would be perfect for like you know when you're going out and you don't want to take a great big bag with you or anything um, the strap does come off um, I would wear it sort of crossbody. I don't ever wear things on my shoulder unless I'm quickly picking it up. Um, but the only thing that I'm not a lover of is the writing on the front. <laughs> it says forever young, which is fine, um, but it says originally from Korea. 
I'll try and show you. Oh, the light is perfect for this. So, yeah, you're not really going to see it because it's going to be far away. And to be perfectly honest, I really like the bag. Um, they've got it in lots of different colours, um, but I chose this colour because, I don't know, I fancy to change. Normally I'll go for black. Um, so I thought I'd go for this. Um, this bag here, it's got the rubbish from the stuff I've just showed but it's got a massive pocket in the back here for like your iPad or whatever um, the little zip here for the cables and then on the back here you've got more sort of pockets so you could use this as a knitting bag um, if you've got a big project because there's so many different compartments you've got this one here um, you've got this another big one here you can put that goes all the way to the bottom um, this one here <laughs> that also goes all the way to the bottom and I just thought that it'd be perfect for traveling as well so when me and Ian go to my mum's or we go to Malta or wherever we go um, I normally take the grey bag that my sister bought me uh, but that has a lot of knitting compartments in it and it's great for traveling it is good for traveling um, Ian's got a back backpack but it's not great um, so I just thought well, it doesn't really matter what the backpacks look like um, and this is huge so if we do decide to go away and I thought as well like if we're going out and I want to take like my cameras with me a little bit of knitting this is just perfect um, instead of a handbag I'm really enjoying using a backpack oh it's got dirty already I don't know if that was me or you already like it but never mind they did they do this as well and the, the all of the bottom here is this pink uh, no no that's not pink that's white <laughs> um like pinky color but I was like pink's gonna get dirty um so yeah that is that and it's soft on the back it's really soft I oh, just I'm so happy with everything that's come in this order yeah, I'm really, really happy. Um, so the plans for next week, on Saturday, there's going to be a cast on party. So Tonya from Karma's A Stitch, I'll leave her channel link below, is hosting a cast on party next Saturday. And um, basically, you cast on all of the things. <laughs> so I need to cast off some of the things. Um, one being my summer sorrel, and two being the baby blanket, I think are the main things that I want to get finished this week. So they are what I'm going to be working on the most. Um, socks are fine. Uh, what else have I got in my rotation? Uh, let's quickly look. So the eyelet burst, there's no way I'm going to get that finished. Not just yet. There's too much left to go. Uh, the baby blanket, the summer sorrel, the C2C. C. So yeah, I really want to get them two things done. So I was thinking of doing a vlog running up to, um, well, up to Friday and just showing you my progress on the stuff that I'm working on and hopefully casting off. We will see. Um, so that's the plan. And then on Saturday, I'm going to vlog while being at the pre-cast on party and the cast on party. Um my what I'm casting on the yarns that I'm using and stuff like that and if the ladies on the zoom don't mind then I will sort of um, try and include them as well so if you are one of my zoom ladies then let me know um, some of them don't uh, podcast or do YouTube and stuff like that so um, but I just thought that would be quite good that I I, I want to cast on a few things and I'm gonna what I <laughs> before Saturday I really want a list of what I want to cast on and I want to maybe do hour slots so say if I'm casting on four things normally these cast on parties they aren't a whole day thing so um, there is a pre cast on party which um, us um, British ladies do because obviously Tonya is in uh, America and cast on party time for us is 5 p.m. so it's quite late in the day so we have a little pre cast on party um, 
and we cast on all the things <laughs> um, so yeah if it's a four hour no sorry if I'm casting on four, four things um, then I will do an hour each and then once that four hours or however many hours it takes um, I will then just start again so on and so forth um, I'm planning on getting up sort of normal time and I'll probably cast something on before the pre-cast on party um, and there will be a break in between the pre-party and the cast on party and normally that is when I just sit there and concentrate on what I'm working on um, and if there's anything too complicated that's on that for when I'm on zoom and stuff I normally work out bits and pieces there so yeah, but I'm really, really looking forward to it. Um, I definitely want to cast on um, a ranunculus, because I've already swatched for that. And I definitely want to start a um, bear for the new baby. Because I made Amelia one, and she absolutely loves her bear. So I'm thinking of making um, the new baby, sis Ian's sister's new baby, that's not been born yet, uh, a bear. Um, and... I want to cast on maybe a rocket tea. Um, yeah, I'm not sure yet. I think the Amazon man's here. Uh, so that's it for this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. And I shall see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.